scones or scones or however you want to pronounce that are just a great substitute for breakfast because sometimes you're just here on the go, you want to do something quick. I went to a restaurant once in New York and they had these little delights just filled with cheddar, bacon, mushrooms. Freaking delightful. And so what I decided to do is I'm going to change it up a little. I'm going to add some Greek yogurt just to give it that extra creaminess. Just to get an, a nice, unctuous bite that you can eat with just eggs or anything else during breakfast. So very importantly, we're going to start first with bacon. I'm not going to use that little thin, stupid bacon that you find in most supermarkets and things. I'm going to use a nice, thick cut of Thirolian bacon that's nice and smoked. So I'm going to use maybe the equivalent of about four or five strips. So about 150 grams. And then we're just going to chop them into little slices. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to get this nice and crispy in the pan. And while we get it crispy, we're going to use that fat. You never want to discard the bacon fat. We're going to use it just to cook down um, our mushrooms. Mushrooms, very simply enough, I got white mushrooms. You want to take off the bottom and then you want to just peel off the sides, which I've done already, just to get that uh, natural earthiness and dirt out. And then we're just going to chop that again, very simply enough, um, in little thin strips. Once you have the same amount of uh, mushrooms and bacon, you're just going to give your mushrooms another chop, just sideways this time, just to get them nice and fine. You can't really worry about it being too big, because when you cook it down, all that water is going to come out. It's going to become really small. So we're just going to move on to the stove and give this a good fry. So when we come in, what you want to do is make sure that your pan is nice and hot, because you want to give that bacon a nice hot sear, so it keeps all the juices yet get nice and crispy. So we're going to put that right in, and once it starts browning on either side, we're just going to shake the pan a little, get that all oil of that oil out, and then we're going to add the mushrooms straight into it. Once it starts getting a nice sear on top of it, just put our chopped mushrooms. And you don't even have to lower the heat or anything, this is just going to take care of itself. So you're just going to leave it there until the mushrooms get nice and soft. So what I have here is one half cup of flour, very simply enough, we're going to keep that, that's going to be the base of the scone. To that, we're just going to add half a stick of butter that I've chopped up. It's frozen, I've chopped it up, and I'm going to add that so it can really just go nicely uh, with the flour and it gives us a nice coarse dough. Next to that, we're just going to add about a teaspoon of sugar. Then we're going to take some fresh green onions. I'm going to take about three or four spears. Give that a nice rough chop also, using only mostly the white stalks. Now to that, we're going to add some nice chives, just to give it a nice balance of flavor between the green onions and the chive. You just want to bunch it up, kind of like you would weeds in the garden. Hit it down, give it a nice chop also. Again, it's nothing pretty. Um, it's all going to be mixed together anyways. Um, we're going to add that to the flour. All right. Then, of course, very important to season, so a pinch of salt. Got a pinch of pepper going in as well. Then, one of the most important parts of the dish is nice old aged American cheddar. I'm going to use about a cup, should be enough. Um, Three-fourths of a cup if you're trying to be healthy, but this is not a healthy dish. So, Give that a good grate. Use the biggest box grater you have. Once you have enough cheese, we're going to take all of that, we're going to add that to the flour as well. The flavor combinations here are very classic, um, and it's just going to be a fantastic mold in your mouth. And then we're going to take Greek yogurt. Usually you use heavy cream. Greek yogurt works for me, so I'm going to add about three-fourths of a cup of Greek yogurt. And just to thin it out a little, I'm going to add some whole milk, just maybe one or two tablespoons. Then I'm going to use a dolt cutter, just to make sure that everything has a nice consistency to it. So I'm just going to run it together until I get a nice coarse dough. If you see that it gets too uh, floury or it's still too doughy, we're going to add just a little bit of milk just to help everything get together perfectly. Now what I'm trying to do here is really break down all that butter in the dough so that we have a nice, uh, we don't want those butter chunks or else it's gonna, the scone's going to be very, very thick and we don't want it thick. That's why at the end we're going to add just a little bit of baking powder just to help it all rise together. All right. Now I can smell the bacon's ready and we're just going to add all of that into here. So they're nice and crisp and brown on the exterior. That's how you know they're basically ready. Transfer everything onto our board here and then you'll see that the, the smell is just something that can just make people go crazy. And now we're going to give that another thick chop because we want little bits and pieces of all that flavor to really meld together. And what's going to happen now too is this, this heat, the steam that's coming off this ingredient is just going to go in there and just going to melt all that butter. So everything's going to get nice and acquainted. All right, so we're going to add that to our bowl here. Now, when it's all inside, we're just going to give it a good mix. 
And then right before putting it in the molds, we're gonna add in about half a tablespoon of um, baking powder. You're gonna know it's well mixed when basically you can hold the whole uh, dough together. So you're just gonna plop it down. You see into one go, it doesn't, it's not powdery or floury anymore. And you can work it with your hands just a little bit. And this is where we're gonna incorporate that baking powder. So I'm just gonna take a quick tablespoon or half a tablespoon that is, mix that right in the middle, flatten it out, and I'm just gonna mix it all together. Once it's all ready, what you wanna do, usually people cook this as a cake, I like to cook it just like muffins, um, so that it's already pre-sectioned. Grab a little bit of olive oil, put a little bit per mold, and I'm just gonna give it a grit rub inside. I'm going to use my hand so that when I work the dough later, it's not going to fall out. So making little discs or balls in my hands. And then we're just going to put that in the mold. You'll see what you want is about three-fourths of it to be filled. So now we're just going to flatten out the balls. And then we're going to put it in the oven for about 15-20 uh, minutes until they rise a little and they're brown on top. And they'll be basically ready to eat once they're cooled. Alright, so once it gets nice and brown on the top, like you'll see here, um, it's exactly where you want. We're gonna touch them a little bit. They should be nice and crusty because that cheddar cheese just crisps up nicely. So I'm just gonna grab them out. It should come right out. If it doesn't, you did it wrong. We're gonna put that in. So we're just gonna see inside how it is. So I'm just gonna give it a nice cut. It should still be soft, yet hold itself up, kind of like a tortilla, like a Spanish tortilla. Um, and that's exactly what we're looking for. It'll be nice and dense, but that's what a, a scone is supposed to be anyways. Um, there are a thousand ways you can actually serve this. The way I'm gonna do it is a little different. What I did a while ago is I cooked some eggs um, sous vide, uh, which is basically means at a controlled temperature uh, for a certain amount of time. What we did is we cooked it for an hour at 63.5 degrees Celsius. To, exactly. You, if you don't have a sous vide machine, you can do it in your oven. Um, just set it at the same Fahrenheit temperature. Keep it there for an hour. When you crack it, just very softly, you don't want to hit it against the side of anything because what we're trying to do is separate all uh, the white part that didn't set that's around the yolk from the actual uh, white that actually set as well. So I'm just going to take that out. You're going to see that it separates the white and the yolk perfectly. So once it comes out, just wiggle it a little and then the discarded white part is just going to go away. So now we're going to take our scone, put it right in the middle, and then I put my egg right on top. And I'm going to finish that with just a little bit of pepper, some salt, obviously, just to give it that little bite. And I'm going to get a little bit of my green onion, just one of the young straws, give it a nice chop, and then we're going to finish that right on top of the egg. So there you go, you got your bacon, cheddar, mushroom scone um, with an awesome 63.5 degree egg and a little bit of chives. Perfect breakfast.